Hello everyone, today I'll talk about turmeric supplements. I'll go through the levels of these products and let you know exactly what you're paying for and avoid paying extra money for cheap additives. Let's get familiar with some keywords. Turmeric. Turmeric is a raw material where you get your supplements. You can buy turmeric root from a grocery store. Dry it, ground it, you get turmeric powder. The powder is good spice and cheap. But if you put the powder in a capsule, that's another story. That's how the supplement company make money and play the trick. When you get the powder, you extract it, you get a mixture of compounds called curcuminoids. It's a mixture of three compounds, including curcumin and two is analogs. Curcumin is the compound you pay for. You are looking for the curcumin. So, Turmeric contains curcuminoids, curcuminoids containing curcumin. What is the proportion of curcumin in turmeric powder? Let's have a look at the pie. The big pie is turmeric powder. You only get 1 to 6% of it is curcuminoids. The percentage varies because of the different condition the turmeric root grows. In the curcuminoids, you look at the small pie, you get a 60 to 70% of it is curcumin. Curcumin is the real active compound you are looking for. There are two science-backed benefits of curcumin. They are anti-oxidation and anti-inflammation. There are other benefits of curcumin, but they are all believed to be these two benefits related. There is a problem of the curcumin itself. This small molecule is not that stable and hard to absorb, easy to metabolize, and fast elimination. The bioavailability of curcumin is pretty low. To overcome this difficulty, we need another magic molecule, pepperin. From the name, you know that pepperin is from pepper. Actually, there is 4 to 9% pepperin in black pepper. By far, pepperin is the only known compound that can dramatically improve the bioavailability of curcumin. Let's have a look at what the literature tells us. It's an experiment in human being about the concentration of curcumin in blood after people take 2 grams curcumin with or without pepperin. They follow the concentration of curcumin in blood with time. It's a simple curve, but it gives us very important information. If you look at the curve, the bottom curve is the one without the pepperin. We can see that the concentration of curcumin blood get higher and higher at about one hour, it reached to the peak. But the concentration is only 0.006 microgram per mil. It's pretty low. After one hour, the concentration gets lower and lower. At about two hours, the concentration is almost undetectable. But the story is quite different when you take a curcumin with 20 mg pepperin. We can see that at the very beginning, the concentration of curcumin goes sky high. At about 40 minutes, it reached to 0.18 microgram per mil. It's about 30 fold more concentrated than that without pepperin. It's pretty high. And after 40 minutes, it goes down. At about 3 hours, they are all gone. So from this information, we know that if you take curcumin with pepperin, you get much higher bioavailability. It's about 20-fold more bioavailability than the one you take curcumin without pepperin. Another information we learned from these curves is that after 3 hours, no matter you take curcumin with pepperin or not, the concentration gets undetectable. It means that you probably would like to take curcumin multi times in a day to keep the higher concentration for a longer time. For example, if the dose is two capsules, you can take one capsule in the morning and another one in the afternoon or in the evening. If we want to choose a turmeric supplement based on this information, first we want to have pepperin. That will dramatically improve the bioavailability. Second, I want to get the most curcuminoids. 
You may ask why we don't buy curcumin. Actually, it's not available on the market. The best you can get now is the 95% curcumin noise. There are two reasons why you don't get curcumin. Uh, one is that it's not practical to purify curcumin from curcumin noise. That will make the cost sky high. The customer will not pay for that. The second is the other two components in the curcuminoid will stabilize the curcumin and make it has a longer shelf life. Okay, based on this information, let's have a look at labels of these products. I choose these four products because they all labeled 1000 milligram in the front label. Let's have a look at the supplement fact sheet to tell what's the difference of these products. Okay, let's get started. From the supplement fact sheet of this product, we can see that one gram capsule, they have 900 milligram turmeric powder, 100 milligram curcumin noise, and five milligram pepperin. That is good, but you only have 10% of curcumin noise in the capsule. You pay most of your money for turmeric powder. That's pretty cheap. You can buy a pound of turmeric powder from grocery store by much less money. It doesn't sound like a good idea to pay for this product with 90% of turmeric powder. Let's have a look at another one. I can see that they have 800 milligram turmeric powder, still a lot. 80% of the capsule is turmeric powder, and they also have 200 milligram curcumin noise. That is double amount of the previous one. And they also have uh, pepperin, five milligram. That's good enough. So this product has more curcumin noise than the previous one, but still have 80% of it is turmeric powder. Let's look at third one. This one has 1000 milligram curcumin noise. That's a huge amount. And they also have the pepperin, 10 milligram. Another thing I noticed that they have the brand name curcumin noise. They call it the curcumin C3 complex. They also have the brand name pepperin by Alprin. They are from the same company. Sabinsa Corporation. I like to buy product with brand name material because those companies are specialized for making these materials and they got a lot of certifications and you have the best chance to get a better product. By far, this one is the best. Let's have a look at the last one. They have a 1000 milligram by all enhanced turmeric complex containing 18 to 22 percent curcumin noise. It means that there is about 180 milligram to 220 milligram curcumin noise in 1000 milligram capsule. But from the label, I cannot see what's the other 800 milligram in the capsule. I don't want to guess what's, what's the rest. When we choose the supplement, we don't based on the hypothesis or assumption. If we don't know exactly what we are paying for, I would like to skip it. They probably use some new technology, but I don't see the experiment in human being. I would not recommend it. So among the four products, I think this one is the best. It contains 1000 milligram Kakumi noise, there's no turmeric powder. That's very cheap raw material you don't want to pay for when you buy the supplements. And they also have the pepperin, 10 milligram pepperin. That's good enough. Okay, let's make a summary about the turmeric supplements. You would like to choose the product with pepperin. Then get the most kakumi noise instead of the cheap material turmeric powder. Last. You want to take the capsule separately, like one capsule in the morning and another one in the afternoon or evening to keep the higher concentration of curcuminoids in your blood for a longer time. That's all I have today. If you have any questions or suggestions, please let me know. If you like my video, please click the like button and subscribe my channel. Thank you very much.